There was some major Broadway talent on display at the Sandsporn Preserve recently for the second Hempstead House Cabaret Night on St. Patrick's Day. Four well-known Broadway stars shared their musical talents with the audience. I just wanted you to know who I am, who I was, what being with you does, and how you make me feel. Uh, this is the second evening that I will have put together for Hempstead House here. and. Um, Alison Adler, who's on the board of the Preserve, had called me and asked me to put together a cabaret evening. And um, as I say, I'm a member of an endangered species. I'm a theater composer. I work with these fantastic singers. They're astonishing. And there is, there is, as a friend of mine said yesterday when I said, we've got Rebecca Luker, Kathy Voigtko, and Michael McElroy, she, our, our voice teacher, said, well, that's as good as it gets. And I thought, you know, it is as good as it gets. They're just, they're extraordinary performers. And um, it's, we love supporting this remarkable venue. It's so beautiful and so comfortable, and um, we're, we're wonderfully, wonderfully well supported here. So we're, we're very happy to be here. This is my first time here and it's absolutely magnificently beautiful. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of the Biltmore Estate which I toured once and it's, if I were getting married again, which I'm not, um, this is where I would want to have it. <laughs> the room is a beautiful room to sing and we have a fabulous person on sound named Mike and Mike is doing a great job as well. Um, but we're also excited because Steve has performed here before and he said that the people are absolutely ready to play and have a great time and so are we. <laughs> It's very exciting. I've never, I've never been to Sands Point or this area, so uh, I think the, the, the houses are gorgeous. The history is amazing. Uh, walked outside after rehearsal to the over to the water and just was idyllic and you know just gorgeous. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, I like that actually. It's sort of like a, it's a cabaret experience, you know, which I've done a few times. And it's a whole new thing from from being on a concert stage. It's intimate. It's fun. It's you know you're sort of off the cuff a little bit. It's great. I am to on a magic carpet ride, full of butterflies inside. I want to cry, I want to cry, I want to laugh like a loon. It's that old. This house is beautiful. I wouldn't even call it a house. It's a palace. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And I've had a chance on the second floor to just kind of walk around and warm up in different rooms. And it's just a beautiful place. And it's so full of history. So it's great to come here. And, you know, we don't get a chance to perform in spaces like this a lot. So it's, it's great. It's going to be magical. I almost don't want to say that. I don't want to jinx myself. But it's a beautiful space, like I said. And it's so much energy in these old homes that it's like, you know, something will kind of boost us along. It's great just to perform with friends and people that you don't get to see very often. You know, Rebecca and I worked together maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's the first time we've worked together since. So, you know, Steve and I worked together maybe 17, 18 years ago. So it's nice to come back together and, you know, do something fun. It's an extraordinary experience having the talent that's assembled here this evening for an unforgettable cabaret, not to be compared with any other cabaret, that most people are, are used to seeing. So we're very fortunate to have Stephen Luck back and his very talented friends come here this evening and we're gonna have a terrific show. This is just the latest in a series of really 
outstanding cultural performances they do here. Uh, between the, the opera they've done before and, and this cabaret tonight, you know, they, they put on a first class production whenever and wherever they try. So it's really, really a wonderful place to be. We are so fortunate to live in a town like North Hempstead and to have uh, a place like this, uh, the Hempstead House in, in the Sands Point, uh, in the, uh, in the Sands Point Preserve, to be able to host wonderful events like this. What's really extraordinary is that being so close to New York City, we have the opportunity to have Broadway stars uh, come to our neighborhoods and perform. And we have a number of events out here in, in, in North Hempstead where people do that. And this is becoming a, a fast tradition. And uh, I am uh, looking forward to it. I came here with my wife tonight. And uh, just to see these Broadway stars, people that we saw on Broadway, uh, singing their hearts out, you know, right in front of us, uh, just having the time of their lives, and, and, and it really is such a just such a wonderful moment to share with friends uh, on a night like tonight. You really connect with the artists. They're they're speaking to you, they're singing directly to you, and I just I love it. It's just so nice to have this kind of setting for this music. I mean, it really enhances the experience to be able to go outside, and look out through the sound, have the dinner and then sit down and enjoy the, the, the whole musical experience. And I think the, the talent that they're bringing out here is just really first rate. And I think this audience out here in Port Washington knows their Broadway, and I think they really appreciate it. As these performers are, are the best that you can get on Broadway. And, you know, they're really, you know, from a, from a vocal point of view, their singing is just really spectacular. And uh, I think the way that the whole evening's put together, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's cabaret, but yet it's a little bit more informal. And I think there's a real connection with the audience here. They appreciate it, and I hope they keep the thing going. And of course, being St. Patrick's Day, you know the group had to do some classic Irish songs. Because performing arts is an important aspect of what this, what this property really represented. And there were many social parties, but there were really celebrations of art and music. And that's what we're trying to bring back in our own unique way. The yeah, Hempstead House really is a, it's, it's, it's a number of things. It's historic. It's extraordinary, right? It's just beautiful. Um, it's a place that's continuing to uh, create its own story. They're still filming uh, movies here, they're filming shows here, and now we're having concerts here. And what was really amazing is that the, the concert was incredible in regard to, or in terms of sound. Uh, it was just a natural, beautiful, wonderful sound in these cavernous halls that worked. And so to have a Broadway star, you know, someone who starred in The Music Man, or someone who starred in Nine, or Mary Poppins, to be able to sing and just have the wonderful sound rever reverberate in such a wonderful way. It didn't feel like we were in this cavernous uh, hall. It felt like we were in um, a place meant to share music. And so uh, I think this is a community that appreciates this type of music. I think there's other types of music that can come here. And the Friends of the Sands Point Preserve say that based upon the success of these musical performances, they hope to have more of these events in the future. For more information, you can check out the website, thesandspointpreserve.com. Andy Sands Point, Chris Kalora, reporting.